So guys, it is time for another recap on the Twitter situation. What's actually going on? So these are all the recent news. Twitter's credit rating has been withdrawn by the S&P for lack of information because Twitter owns 13 billion in debt, which was funded by banks. And now the S&P has withdrawn their credit rating. Also, Elon Musk Twitter faces mountain of debt, falling revenue and surging costs, while the World Cup ad revenue, which usually is a great time for Twitter, right? Because they got high activity during big sports events, but reportedly, this year, ad revenue is way down, so not ideal. Also, it looks like former Twitter employees who have been laid off are currently preparing a lawsuit against Twitter because of the method of how Elon actually fired them, because there might have been a potential violation of federal and state law. And beyond all that, there's the potential of like billions in fines coming from regulatory institutions like the FTC or Europe's Digital Services Act, because apparently Twitter is not complying with some of those regulations. So it's going really well for Twitter and Elon, obviously, but now, the latest news hitting just yesterday. Twitter's being investigated after Musk builds bedrooms in offices. <laughs> Several rooms in Twitter San Francisco headquarters have been converted into sleeping quarters. We gotta work hardcore, guys. And hardcore means your life is over. You are now living in a Twitter work dungeon, okay? You can sleep in this room and then you get up and work in that room. You can brush your teeth in the office toilet. Do they even have showers? Like, where are you gonna shower if you just live in the... Maybe, maybe the employees are occasionally allowed to go home to take a quick shower and then they come back to the office. So it says here, San Francisco building inspectors have launched an investigation into the matter and have contacted the Twitter management to set up a site inspection, according to local media reports. One official in the city's department of the building inspection said, we need to make sure that the building is used as intended. <laughs> Twitter employees returning to work on Monday discovered that some rooms had been fitted with bare mattresses and curtains, while one even contained a plant. <laughs> Elon is like, no, look, I understand. You guys are living in the office at this point, basically, and I want to make it as comfortable as possible for my employees, so... Let's put a plant in the room. <laughs> a photo of one converted bedroom shared with Forbes, uh, which first reported the move, showed a bright orange carpet, a queen-sized bed, a wooden bedside table with a lamp, and two office armchairs. Now, I have not seen that particular photo that's been described here and shared with Forbes, but I did see, and I'm sure you saw too, this post that went around on Twitter not long ago that shows a woman sleeping in the office in, a, in what seems to be a meeting room, right? This is like a meeting room table. And clearly she does not have a queen-sized uh, mattress or anything provided to her that would make it slightly more comfortable. So probably Elon was like, look, these are horrible conditions. We can't have people sleeping on shitty mattresses in the office. Let's give them slightly better mattresses. <laughs> this is the answer. Because my staff needs to work extremely hardcore. <laughs> but Elon, shouldn't we maybe just consider that people could just work from home where they have like a really comfortable bed? No! What the hell are you suggesting? <laughs> This is unacceptable. You're fired. Leave the office. God, it's so pathetic. And it would be funny if it wouldn't be so sad because the truth is quite a few people that work for Twitter have their visas and their permission to stay in the United States connected to their job. So if they would say, Elon, I'm not willing to work extremely hardcore and sleep in the office, they would be let go and that would literally terminate their work visa. So they would not even be allowed to stay in the United States anymore. So this game that Elon is playing here is really messing with people's lives in like a really messed up way. Obviously not all Twitter Twitter employees fall into that scenario, but there are definitely some that do, and it's just disgusting. It's disgusting work practices. And I'm sure that if all the workers at Twitter had better protection in terms of the law, so if they decide to quit their job, these visa rules, for example, wouldn't apply, then more people will quit and, and Twitter would be even in a worse situation. So funny enough, the whole conversation with the San Francisco building regulators can be followed up on Twitter, <laughs> ironically, where Catherine Schwab said, Elon has converted some rooms at Twitter HQ into bedrooms for employees as part of the extremely hardcore Twitter 2.0. Zero. They look like sad hotel rooms as per shared photo with Forbes. And people followed up on it. These tweets got quite a bit of traction. Wonder how much office can be converted to bedrooms before it runs afoul the San Francisco code or at least requires a permit and inspections. As I just found out, the answer is zero. But then I never covertly converted offices to residentials. <laughs> and then SF311, which I assume, I don't know, but it's probably like San Francisco building regulators at the city of San Francisco, replied, thank you for your inquiry. This issue has been reported to the Department of Building and inspection, your posting has been noted on the existing service request number and so on. So it's another piece of great news 
for Twitter, for Elon Musk. Uh, meanwhile, he's obviously launching the Twitter files, which is basically a big nothing burger, okay? There, there was nothing of significance revealed in those Twitter files that came out recently. But what it does, it offers Elon a little bit of a distraction from the real stories, the ones that we looked at in the beginning of this video, because there are a lot of things that are not going too well. So if you can talk about the Twitter files, well, then you don't have to talk about the financial mess that you're in. And the internet is responding quite appropriately. Damn, big government getting in the way of my slave dungeons. <laughs> I believe you misspelled plantation. Ooh, oh, are we really going there? Tim Pool doing what he can to marginalize what's going on, obviously. Been to a few big tech offices that have nap pods and sleeping rooms. Yeah, but we're not talking about nap pods here. We're talking about ad hoc conversions of office rooms so the employees can work hardcore on Twitter 2.0, which presumably means you just don't go home anymore. Sure, I've worked in companies where they had nap pods or where people could have like a quiet room where you can take an hour and rest yourself a little bit. It's just so funny to see how these Elon fanboys are like, so what? Like they're just trying to marginalize anything he does. Any disaster that he stumbles into recently, they're like, no, it's just, this is fine. The other companies also have loads of debt. <laughs> Twitter HQ will move to Texas soon. <laughs> it's like these damn laws in the liberal west side of the United States. We're going down to Texas, boys. <laughs> Where the laws are not so ridiculously conflicting with our ideas of our employees just having no life anymore. And then from Texas, the next step is China, right? Where you have no laws that prevent you from doing awful things to your employees. And here we have someone replying to Matt Binder's original tweet that says, LOL, someone has reported Twitter over Elon Musk possibly illegally converting office spaces into bedrooms at Twitter HQ. And he says, it's not possibly, it's very illegal, especially according to the report, it's explicitly being used as a living space not offices that are comfortable should you happen to fall asleep. Elon doesn't own Twitter HQ. He's a tenant. My former employer got whistleblown by a bitter business neighbor that he was letting us sleep there after long shifts or for early next day drives. Within a week, he was contacted by two separate entities. Entire agency should show up to HQ and take evidence. Now, obviously, I don't know how trustworthy that statement by JSTAC is, but I do know that here in the UK, you have similar regulations. You can't just take an office space and turn it into what would be a residential space essentially, where people live, where people sleep and wash themselves. That is also the big difference to these nap pods that uh, Tim Pool talked about. Because not only did Elon do this covertly, right? He's like, yeah, that ju let's just put a few beds in here so they can sleep her. Twitter hardcore 2.0. But judging from the photo we've seen and the reports on Twitter, it is not just about taking a little time out, like an hour during your day or something to calm yourself down. It is very much about spending the night there and basically living in the office. Now, obviously, it remains to be seen whether that actually backfires on Elon. He's a very rich man. He's very well connected. And unfortunately, the reality is that more often than not, people like him do get away with stuff like that. But with the company's debt, with the heavy decrease in ad revenue, with the employees suing him, with now this piling on top of it, there are so many stories coming all together that some of them will certainly backfire. It's a dark place for Elon and for Twitter. And I find it highly amusing that Elon basically addresses everything on Twitter now, right? Like his life is basically transparent on Twitter. But any of these stories... He just doesn't address them. There's never a tweet from Elon where he's like, yeah, this is happening. You know, here's an update on that. Or I apologize for that conduct or something like this. I understand that there are legal implications, but it's just it's just pathetic. Because with a lot of the other stuff that he says as well, there are also legal implications. So it's... Anyway, that's the story, guys. The next round in the Twitter drama, Elon disaster. I'm sure there will be more in the future. I just thought I'd share this story with you guys. If you want to discuss this story with other like-minded people, then please join our Discord server. It's been just set up. I'll put the link down in the description. Anyone can join. I'm hanging out there as well. And it's just a great place for debate, for exchange of ideas and all that. So I'd love to meet you there. You can also subscribe to the channel. Leave your thoughts down in the comments, obviously. And while you're on your way out, don't forget to smash the like button. I appreciate your time watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. I'm out. Bye.